Hello and welcome to Ariel's Cosmic Corner. Today we're going to show how to put on a focus motor in your Celestron SCT. Here you can see we have uh, the focuser, Allen wrench, a couple different plates depending on the size of your SCT, screwdriver and a wrench. Uh, and we're going to attempt to do, uh, what we're going to attempt to do is put our focuser on our Celestron. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take off this uh, focuser knob off of the uh, focuser tube uh, in order to start. So that's what we'll do at this point. When I do this, I like to add tape, as you can see, like right here so that uh, you can take a screwdriver and kind of pry it up a little little at a time not a lot just a little bit at a time so that once it breaks loose then you can pull pull this out so once that is off um you take off these screws here uh, to remove that plate orange plate and we're going to replace that plate with a new one so here is our new plate um, and as you put on the new plate, um, you can arrange this any way you want. Um, also too, if you look here, you have to make sure that it's pretty even with everything. So I kind of keep mine on a flat surface. And then uh, once I know it's all nice and even, I uh, tighten up the screws. Once you tighten up all the screws, make sure you can move this around. It moves freely and there's no space like wiggliness in there. You can see that's how you kind of want it. Uh, and then we're going to add the focuser. So here's your focuser. And as you can see, um, you have an arrow here pointing to this white line. This white line needs to be aligned with that arrow uh, when you put on your focuser. So you do have a handy wrench uh, that came with the unit that does that for you. And all you have to do is basically put this on here like this uh, and then you can rotate this. Now once that's on there, you can see here make sure all of this is nice and even and then on the top part you're screwing down these two screws here you have one here and one right here those go down um, snug and kind of go back and forth until they get them a little bit tight and then reassess make sure everything looks nice and even. Once that's completed, over here you can see there's our set screws. So we want to tighten those down to the shaft um, and that completes it. Okay, so what we're doing here is we opened up CPWI Connected it from a USB and I went to focuser calibration, focuser calibration. And now it's basically, it's going through the steps. Um, now that we have our focuser on there, it needs to calibrate to see what the min and the max calibration. And once it's completed, you can see here that it's marked as completed, has its positioning number. Uh, so then what we do is just basically close out. But if you look over here, we're at position 18462. You can see we can move this around. Make sure numbers work, stuff like that. You got uh, different rates, how fast. It'll go, like if you're really fine tuning, you may only want to do little steps at a time. Um, or 
um, you can do bigger. So other than that, everything sounds good, looks good, and I believe that completes it.